What you guys got another video today we're taking a look at what you need to know about flipping pcs this is basically buying pc parts putting them together and then selling them at a profit now you may have seen tons of videos on youtube promoting flipping pcs and making loads of money up to four or five hundred dollars at a time and this is simply just not possible in the uk so we're going to go through and show you some of the things to look out for if you're thinking about flipping PCs for a living and you live in the UK. Now, a thing to remember is a lot of these prices are way higher than what you would pay if you was living in the United States or some other countries in the world. If you look at these prices here, they're absolutely extortionate and you're not going to be able to make any money if you are buying any of these products to try and flip. These are just products that are not worth purchasing and putting together as a PC and trying to make profit out of. So rule one is try to buy the motherboard, the CPU and the GPU as cheap as possible. These are the most free common parts that are going to cost you the most money. If you can get these cheap enough, you might be able to make some profit. Also, i7-7700K. You can see here, motherboard, chip, and RAM. It's a nice, clean motherboard. It's a really nice motherboard. The price was £200, and it's now £175. Doesn't want no time wasters, but time you add a case to this, let's just say £50 to £70, pounds, that's a pretty budget case. You can get them for £30, pounds, but remember, you're trying to flip it, and you want it to look nice. PSU, let's talk about a good PSU here, 80 to 100 pounds. That's a new one. If you can find one cheap, second hand, by all means, go for it. But you're only going to find rubbish PSUs for sale uh, on the used market on eBay. The GPU is your choice. That's going to cost the most money. Adding an SSD to this is going to also cost around about 80 to 100 pounds. That's going to be a new SSD NVMe. Then you've got some fans for the case, and then you've got your CPU cooler. Let's just call that £40. Let's assume you pay £150 for a 1080 Ti graphics card used. That's getting on to £650. So basically, you're not going to make no profit out of that, and you're probably not going to be able to sell it at that price. So it's not a viable project. Now, this combo here is £200, which is way overpriced. The motherboard is pretty decent because it's a nice motherboard, but it's a 2700X and 16 gigabytes of sort of budget RAM, really. How are you going to make any profit on this sort of a setup? Time you add all of the other components to it, unless you can buy them cheap used, you're not going to make any profit on something like this because the initial bundle that you're buying is £200. So it's important that you do your research and check out how much is it going to cost to put all of that PC together and how much profit is there for you. And you're probably going to find there is no profit. Same with this one here. Yes, it's a 9700K, which is compatible for Windows 11. And it's a good, decent motherboard, but there's no memory here. And also time you buy all the other components. A GPU is probably going to cost you in a region of 200 plus pounds used. So time you put all that together, it's going to be in the region of 700 to 800 pounds. No one's going to buy that PC at that price. And you're going to be stuck with it for quite a while until you can flip it. And there's people in the States getting this particular setup for probably around about 100 bucks. Here is another one for a motherboard and a CPU. The motherboard is a Gigabyte GA-Z270 and the a CPU is an i7-7700K, 180 pounds. Time you buy a GPU, he said he run this with a GTX 1080 Ti. That's around about 150 pounds to 160 pounds selling on eBay plus you buy all the other components, it's not a viable project. You're not going to make much money on it at that sort of price point. And it's not future-proofed in the sense it's not going to run Windows 11 officially. And this next one you might think is a good deal, £80. It was £100. He's now moved it down to £80. And that was seven weeks ago he put that up. No one's bought it. But you can see Motherboard has a few bent pins, but nothing super important. One of the RAM ports slightly out of place, but can be put back. So I would not be buying uh, this particular board even at 80 pounds because it's just not worth the risk. So you're probably throwing your money down the drain by buying something like this. And there's plenty of stuff like this out there. And again, it's just old stuff that is not worth much. Yes, it's got a uh, Ryzen 7 2700X, but you can pick those up for around about 30 odd pounds 
if you're lucky. Another one here, £140. He's moved this down from £170. This is motherboard, CPU and RAM bundle. Again, this is a Carbon Z270 i7-7700K and again 32 gigabytes of RAM. He said he had it paired with an RTX 3070 and that's going to cost you around about £280 to £300 on the used market. Plus all the other components, it just doesn't make it a viable project. And again, this is another one that's going to be obsolete in October 2025. i5-7400, 24GB of RAM, and the RAM speed is 2444. Again, £200 for a setup like this, it doesn't leave much wiggle room. In fact, it leaves no wiggle room to make any profit. The time you buy all the other stuff, uh, unless you're getting it absolutely dirt cheap, you're not going to be able to make any money on it. Same as this one here, Maximum Hero 6 with Intel i5-9600K. Yes, it is compatible with Windows 11, but at £200, time you buy all the other components for that, including memory, uh, it's just, again, you're not going to make any money. And it's starting to sound like rip-off Britain. you got another one here at £300. 21 weeks ago he put that up, and you can see 21 weeks ago he still ain't sold it. No wonder, it's £300. And again, it's only a Ryzen... 5 Pro 4650 with 16 gigabytes of RAM, it's just not worth it. And if we ever look at the prices for power supplies on eBay, and these are power supplies that you're going to probably need for a build of that magnitude. And again, you can see the money for used parts, again, is just extortionate. And you can buy probably a decent power supply for around about 80 to 100 pounds brand new. And some of these are just ridiculous prices for what they're asking. So do your research before you start getting into this and try and just sell one PC to see whether you can make any profit on it. If you can't, then it's just not viable to do. And I get people asking me, how can you flip PCs for profit in the UK and is it possible? And the answer is yes, you can, but you have to be very selective on some of the stuff that you're using. And again, it's going to be hard work. What I do see people being successful at selling on eBay is scamming people. It's basically overpricing stuff or ripping motherboards out of Dell Optiplexes, HPs, and then putting that combo into a RGB case, calling it a gaming system and selling it around about 200 plus pounds and make it a quick profit. And again, they're not paying anything for these. They're just from uh, old surplus office uh, clear outs. Steer clear of the ones that say 600 watts and it's only £10. Steer clear of those power supplies. They will blow up. They're not worth it. And you can see NVIDIA uh, 2070 Supers are pretty extortionate as well. Really expensive pricing. And again, if you're buying these, some of these are bidding, of course, and they look cheap, but they are still bidding. The buy now prices are pretty expensive. Now, you're going to want a couple of GPUs like these with some of these builds we've been talking about to help sell it and give people a chance to play games at pretty decent uh, frame rates. But again, once you start adding in a card that's in the region of 200 plus pounds and plus you're spending 200 pounds on a motherboard combo, you're already up to 400 odd pounds. Then you've got to buy all the other components and it starts to get right up there in price. And you're now talking in a region of seven to eight hundred pounds, which is just not worth it. You're never ever going to sell systems at that price. Even these 3060 Ti's are just extortionately high. You're not going to be able to flip PCs uh, at that sort of price point. You'll probably list that PC and have it listed for a very long time before someone buys it. And by then, you're probably going to have to drop the price, which means then your profit is going down. How much profit do you think you're going to make after building something like that? It's just too expensive. And again, like I said before, uh, the only way that you're going to make profit from these if you can get these parts super cheap. And, uh, you know, other than that, you're not going to make a massive profit on it. And if you're selling on eBay, you're going to get eBay fees as well. So the marketplace is the place to go. And if you're selling uh, systems and making more than a certain amount of money per year, it's going to be a taxable thing because it's then a business. And these 8700K systems or 8700K chips are getting pretty pricey. And that's because they are compatible with Windows 11. But again, you have to bear in mind that time you piece all these parts together, are you going to be able to make a good enough profit to make it a viable thing to do? That's the thing. And again, once you start piecing this all together, it looks cheap 
right now as a single item, but once you start piecing it all together, that tally starts to top up quite high, and you're probably not going to uh, be able to flip it as easy as you think you are. It's a lot easier to sell these singular things, like strip it down and sell it singular, than it is to make money from putting things together. You've got shipping as well, and you've got all the other things to take into account when it comes to uh, selling a PC. Look at the pricing here for these systems, these 8700K systems. I mean, who in their right mind is going to be spending you know, £650 on an 8700K or with a 1080 Ti in it? and 16 gigabytes of RAM. That's a lot of money. And again, this one right here, what are they getting them for? They're probably either selling their old surplus stuff off, or it's a business where they're trying to flip PCs, and maybe they've found a way of uh, finding these parts cheaper. There's another one here, an RTX 4070 12 gigabyte card, and that's got an i7 uh, 8700K with 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and one terabyte drive, and he wants £1,300 for it. And there's another one, a ROG Gaming PC with a 2080 Ti, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and an i7 8700K with Windows 11 Pro installed. £800 or best offer. Right there, how much profit is he going to make out of that if he's pieced that together? Or is he just selling his old PC off? If you're selling your old PC off, then it's not so much of a big deal. But if you're trying to flip them for a profit... You're going to have to get that stuff a lot cheaper than that to make it worthwhile. So custom gaming PC, i7 8700K, 1080 Ti, 16 gigabytes of RAM, you know, £769. That's not worth it for me. That's just too much, uh, especially on an old card like that, a 1080 Ti. But yeah, £769 is a little bit pricey. And one underneath is £600. It's just, they're just too much. So let's take a look at new systems. So a new system, let's just say an RTX 3060 here. I've just quickly put together this system here. And again, this system can be tweaked a lot better than what I've done here. But it's only £786 for a brand new computer. And it's got a Ryzen 5 5600 in there. And you can upgrade that CPU and everything. It's Windows 11 compatible. It's full warranty on it. And it's a pretty decent system. And again, you can probably spend a lot more time tweaking this and getting that price down to a better sweet spot for yourself. But if you're looking at that price and you're looking at the price they're selling those with a 1080 Ti in them, it just doesn't make no sense. And how much profit are they making on that? They're probably not making hardly anything. So if you are looking to do it, at least do it for a decent profit. And I'm pretty sure they're not making vast amounts of money from it. So is it viable? Uh, to make a fair bit of money. If you're living in the United States or anywhere else in the world, it probably is. But if you're living in the United Kingdom, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be a viable uh, business for you to make money on the side like that. Again, taxation is coming. If you're doing this at any sort of grand scale where you're selling lots of them, you're going to have to pay tax. It is then classed as a business. And again, there goes your profits right there. Now, before you start jumping on AliExpress and seeing deals on AliExpress, be careful because the shipping can catch you out and also import tax to bring it into the country. And that can also bump the price up. So, uh, again, once you start doing that, is it a viable project to put that together and piece it out and make a PC out of it? Probably not. So you're going to have to do a lot of research and a lot of digging to find a really cheap deal to get a piece of PC together and make a decent profit on it to make it worth your while. And there's also the other costs like eBay charge you money, and also shipping is a bit difficult as well. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.